All right, noob noob, I'm going to tell you a story. Story as old as time. I, I like stories. Story of how babies are made. Is that is it sex? It's going to be a little sexy. Oh Get my ready God. for some sex talk. Put your earmuffs on. I need my dad. <laughs> All right, noob noob. So I'm going to try to set the stage here so that you understand what's going on. Yes. Because you're not going to understand what's going on. Probably not. No. All right. So this is a story about there's another podcast or YouTube show called You Are Here, starring uh, Sidney Watson and Elijah something or other. They had a special guest on. His name is Jack Murphy. Jack Murphy is like this ultra Chad like trains men how to be men like that's his whole thing and and he and he sells it to people right Uh so i want you to see what happened and then we're going to break it down a little bit and then we're going to go down the rabbit hole a little bit and then things are going to get a little weird here so let's start the video and i may pause to explain a couple things all right i have no idea what's going on excellent we've already been told that this show's been hard to get advertisers on Yes. Get, That's why, get out of town. <laughs> that is why the super chats mean a lot to us. <laughs> They're the advertisers. Supporting us. Thank you. Shush your mouth. You guys are the advertisers. That's why we try to get through all of these and read all your all right, comments. I got a few Even more. if you're trapping me. No, I want to read this one That's first. That's Sydney. Because I started it. I'm going to finish what I started. Anamorphosis says, Elijah, and I'm, I apologize for this in advance, Jack. Uh, oh, asked boy. Murphy about the article he wrote about literally cuckolding his wife. I wish I was joking. True <laughs> alpha. Wow. True. Wow. You went there with that. <laughs> Uh, I have absolutely no comment on that other than to say that whatever people's perceptions are about that, it's 180 degrees wrong. And it has nothing to do with people think what they what they're thinking it to be today. Are we talking about sex right now? Do you know what cuckolding is? I totally thought it's they were where reading... you get a chicken and you hold it and no, you love it. I just blanked out for you, a second. You make more chickens. I just blanked out for a second. I'm I'm so I support you having chickens. We I don't kink chickens. shame. I like chickens. If you have a hen house, that's great. That's uh, you should you should have your own eggs. Great. We don't kink shame. Great, great for. Protein. I think she you are just walked into a trap. I want to bring that out that we do not kink shame. If you're like if you okay, so this guy's not ha- ha- like he's like okay. They, they, so super chat. What is when people pay? Yeah. To to ask questions, right? So this girl reads all the super chats. Like she just reads them verbatim. Doesn't like do anything. Doesn't think about it. She just she just does it right. So five minutes later into their conversation, then this happens. Okay. It's true. Brett ain't dead said, unfortunately, the proliferation of technology leads to authoritarian collectivism. Future looks gay. Merry Christmas, Sid and Jack. And Eli, ja, 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 ja. <laughs> Future looks gay. Mr. Dick and Bowles says, hey, Jack. <laughs> See, she's just what she does. She does this. <laughs> Like she reads it like that's normal. Like it's not even. She's not even saying I'm not gonna skip the name. She just goes, Mister Dukenball said. Could you please <laughs> clear up the cuck article you wrote? I am not gonna talk about Again? this. Okay. And basically, you know what? <laughs> Fuck you me. for bringing this up right here and right now. Me. Why? Why are you doing this to me? I didn't know that. I didn't know what it was. Well, just use a little bit of fucking common sense. Sorry, apologies. Yeah. Fuck, uh, you, fuck you. Elizabeth, Heartfelt. Elizabeth uh, Harrison says, "Gonna uh, gonna miss the show, but have a good break." I H T A C. What's that? <laughs> okay, so I think that kind of covers it, right? So he just lost his 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 cool on this girl, right? Okay, not that bad. He just says "fuck you" a couple times. Yeah, but people were pretty pissed about it because they thought it was disrespectful. And then uh, I think something else happened. Okay, so then end of the show. This is this is what happens here. Through on the sleigh, we're very very happy to have had that. Anyways, Sydney, do you want to close us out? You, you want me to fuck it yeah, up yeah, one last time? Yes. All right, I don't, I don't care what she said. Here, here, here goes the, the dude. It's the very end of the show. They're on like Blaze TV or something. I, I, I don't even know what that is. He like doesn't even look. He's just like, yeah, f you guys. Okay. Okay. So who the fuck is this guy? Doesn't seem like anybody. Who cares? Okay. So let me show you. He is a uh, he runs the Liminal Order. Whatever. Now this that is. is blown up. Like this has gotten crazy, right? It's a private secure network of over 800 skilled professionals, successful business leaders, public figures, and future world changers. We help each other build healthy families, powerful physiques, generational wealth, and as long as you want to survive, 
Amid the long, long war, blah, 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 the long march of woke, join us. What? Because your social network makes or breaks you, your family, and your nation. <laughs> yeah. Getting that mm, this is testosterone. Weird. Right. Okay. Sounds like a cult leader now. So, you, and and uh, your enemies want you dead. Uh huh. Oh my God. This it, is a manifesto. It, it's, it gets, it's intense, right? Okay. Hold on. You need a network like the Liminal Order so you can pay for membership. Right, and they do stuff. I don't know what it does, but I heard I, I watched another video, and I think it's like ninety bucks a month or something like that. And then um, you can a pay month? like thirty five hundred bucks for like a year. What? Yeah, like there's a whole bu- it's a whole thing, man. Does he? Yeah, look in- here it is ninety nine dollars a month, seven hundred ninety dollars a year, three thousand eight hundred ninety dollars one time. Yeah. Okay. And that's Jack, Jack Mur. Who is he? He's the guy the crazy liberals freak and scream about, right? He's got a, a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, hedge fund analyst, all sorts of fun stuff, right? Oh okay. My God. Amateur Father of three. Oh, geez. Well, maybe that ain't going to be the same movie they might make. Okay. So we, the platinum membership, he comes and cucks your wife. <laughs> is that what you get for that? Okay. Well, maybe. So now, okay, so he's a man's man trying to teach you the world. So uh, 2012, I'm going to say, he wrote an article. Because the internet is forever, friends. We're going to go down that rabbit hole. People wanted to know, the Super Chat specifically, wanted to know what was up with the cuck article. So let's take a look. (laughs) Okay. Cultivating erotic energy from a surprising source. Uh, mm-hmm. October 9th, 2015 by okay. Jack Murphy. Uh, let me read this to you, Noob Noob. Okay. I'm sure you'll you'll feel confident what in yourself. The fuck? Today I sent my adoring, loyal, hot young girlfriend of two years to have sex with a stranger from Tinder. <laughs> Dude, you're too loud and don't laugh that hard into the mic. She's currently at his apartment. Checked in with me via text and is presumably sucking and effing her way to a good time. I'm alone writing, couldn't be happier. Uh. What? Now, before you write me off as a salon.com freak who wants to be cuckolded, or wants to be a cuckold, and some spineless beta male, <laughs> hear me out. This has been a long road in my... My manhood is intact and my D is rock hard. Oh I'm paraphrasing my here, God. right? Do you feel like you want to be... Would, would you take advice from this guy? No. He also says this is crazy. I'm going to read some of this stuff. I'm, I'm going to try to dull it down a little bit for YouTube because it might get a little too spicy. Uh-huh. He's had slaves, sex slaves, little girls, and tied them all up. Feminists seek him out to F them like the patriarchy. Um, and yet I just sent my 15-year junior girlfriend to bank Matt from Tinder. What is going on here? Okie dokie. So he bangs 15-year-olds. No, 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 no. No. The, the girlfriend is younger than him. Does he look like he's 15 or he's no, third? No. He says he's banging a 15-year-old. Okay. So this started blowing up and people got real, like, seems to have hurt his business because I think the limo order now, you you cannot... You can't do anything with them anymore. I think he closed, like, no more memberships. It's currently closed. <laughs> no more membership. Okay. So, now he's picking a fight. Uh, and now, uh, he cl- he went on Tim Pool show, the, the, the uh, Tim cast, and basically said that he felt he was ambushed. He told them ahead of time he didn't want to talk about the article. And it's, like, gotten all blown out of proportion, and people are mad at each other and kind of butthurt. And uh, Sydney came back, was like, I feel like you're throwing me under the bus. Like, all I did was read a super chat. And you're cursing directly at me and like white knighting and all this other nonsense, right? White knighting? That means like you came to her defense because you're simping for her because oh, she's a pretty girl. She's right. not pretty at all. Well, whatever. Don't be mean to everybody. Jeez. Okay. You're such a meanie. Yep. I, I I, coming from this this face, I you just want to be an, a, a fuggo wants to. Uh, I just want to be cucked. I know. You can tell your story sometime about how uh, two my lovely dick ladies. My rock hard. <laughs> he's getting cucked. Oh, my God. So, okay. So, the second part of this. Now, there's other videos that may have come out where um, him and his girlfriend 
I guess were put in a position where they had to live stream them having uh, sexual relations. Well, okay, so he has a sex tape. Yes. Well, y- yes. Okay. And then part of the tape apparently is he was on, and I don't know the dark circles of the internet. I don't know what some of these things are, but he was on Chatterbait or something like that. Okay. Where he might have been inserting things. Oh. Into himself. Oh. To make some extra cash. Look, bro, if you got to make cash, you got to <laughs> make cash. But then to be like, I'm an alpha Chad. I think you're losing a little ground do here. Do we have those clips? I no, because I do not want to get sued. And uh, he's he's suing like Jeremy from the quartering, who you love. Oh, is he? Because you love his beard. I I don't know if he's suing him or he's going after Jeremy. Jeremy said he would stop making videos about it. This whole thing is crazy. And I just wanted to get your feedback on how do you feel now that you've gone down the cuck wormhole. Um, of YouTube. A little shocked. Right. <laughs> Is that weird? The man has the beard of a Viking Nazi. So clearly, oh clearly he has at least 17 oh. underage girls in I... his sex dungeon. Um, oh, Sydney, Sydney Watson, not like what's with the beard coloring, man. You looking creepy. Yes. I don't understand why. First off, he's not an alpha. I, why, oh, okay. Just, I don't, I don't know how to respond to this. I don't know either. I, that I, I just don't. He's I don't. not famous enough for this to matter. It do, It does in the fact that it seems like his career is getting destroyed over this. What career? He, he was, has a cult. Uh huh. What does okay. he? He teaches you to be to insert things in your butt. Like is that what he teaches? <laughs> he does not. He teaches he you how not, to be a manly man. He teaches you how to just get cucked over and over again. Nope. Go on chatterbait and shove coke bottles in your <laughs> booty hole. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. I well, are you signing up? I first off, I've been a member. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that me and Jack everything. go way back. Oh, okay. You should have explained this to me first and said, you like, know look, the person I'm on a big Tinder. Fan. You know the person on Tinder he sent his oh, underage girlfriend you are to go Matt? have sex with. You're Matt. That was me. Okay. Yeah. How well, I was, was also underage because I'm only 17. Oh, okay. So legally, it's fine. Okay. So. She- She's not 15. She is definitely 15. She told me when oh. I was having sex with her. Oh, my God. But you're 17. She's so like, it's all please, good. Daddy Jack won't let me leave the house. Oh, my God. Unless it's for school. <laughs> right. Uh-huh. 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 So, so we went down that rabbit hole. We did, just like Jack went down the underage rabbit hole. Oh, my God. He did not. Jack Murphy for president. It's not even his real name, but it's not. No, it's not. isn't Jack Murphy like the governor of Jersey? No, I don't know. Phil Maybe Murphy. we're just talking about. Oh my God, is that is it? Is this another uh, family conspiracy like the Cuomos? I don't know. Holy shit! So the governor of New Jersey's brother is Jack Murphy, and this man has sex with underage children allegedly, yes. allegedly, while getting cucked on live podcasts that aren't famous. Yes. Do you think he had a reason to uh, get if he? And this is what I was telling you about the Streisand effect, which you didn't seem to understand. Yeah. So he's Jewish. No. Not Jewish. I mean, he might be. Barbara Streisand's know. not Jewish, is what you're saying. Oh my God. The Streisand effect is the more f- the bigger of a fuss you make about something, and the more you talk about it, the more people are going to look. Yeah. The more the 4chan army is going to come after you. In the if he would have had no reaction to it, would just been like, "Yeah, I don't want to talk about." Yeah, he's it. like, "I'm good," and then people have been like, "All right, whatever." Or just was like, "Yeah, I did some crazy stuff back in the day. Like, I'm not. Yeah, whatever." I mean, I'm but not- he wrote an article. He also wrote an article about like aring his girlfriend whenever he want once. What? Him using him him force forcing himself on her whenever he wants. Oh oh. Uh huh. Wait. He says it right there. See it? Can you not? You can't uh, read. Rape I is I certainly know. about bridging a gap, as it were, and inherently contains a certain uh, what? Yeah. I don't I'm know. a little confused by that. So did this man just openly admit to rape? <laughs> but she consented to it. So not rape. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't. He took a he brought a guy over from Craigslist and took pictures of her as he banged. Dude, you're going to get you and your girlfriend killed. Please uh, don't do this. Don't do this. It's not good. Remember the Craigslist murderer? It's a thing. You're gonna get killed. Don't what? pick up dudes at bars. Don't pick up weirdos. Just do your thing, bro. But or at least like suss them out. Get resumes and get like credit scores before you pick these guys up. 
this is not this is not this is not good it's not good at all uh so anyway the streisand effect is he keeps making a big fuss about it more people keep paying attention to it and now like i'm sure it's hurting his business he should just disappear off the internet although tim pool is white knighting for him so maybe oh, tim pool's defending him yes oh uh-huh he's like this happened several years ago and you should and you shouldn't have to talk about it if you don't want to talk about it and blah 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 i mean blah, that's blah. fine that is fine and he, he overreacted right he shouldn't have gone on tim's show and uh uh, threw Sydney under the bus a little bit because then she made a response video to it. She wasn't going to respond to it. And then apparently Jeremy from the quartering brought the same stuff up. And then now he's caught, starting to fight with that guy. It's like, just ignore it. Don't do it. Even Jeremy even said, he's like, I'm not making any more videos about this. So. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> this is, this, this is article's a, weird. This is, this is, yes. I mean, they're still going. There's still more stuff. How, first off, he, Look at this. Look at all this extra stuff. He keeps going. How long was Why? his girlfriend getting her Twinkie pushed in? With He had like time to write a fucking novel. He's a look, have her do a young guy. What? Like, what? Yeah, this is... this is. Wait, is he saying you, you trust your girlfriend by having her have sex with a younger guy? Uh, because you've got the experience. I don't no, care what his Scroll up. Are. What's the title of those three bullet points? Oh. That's how you trust her. I don't understand. By being amazing. What? Well, since you can't be amazing, it lasts more than two minutes. I have yeah. to have my girlfriend fuck a young guy, I guess. Oh, my God. And hopefully she Maybe, has look, some of you are going to call, call me a cuckold, a pussy, accuse me of being somehow less of a man. Maybe you think I'm secretly gay. He's probably openly gay. I don't know what is going on. Okay, follow him on Twitter. To so. see how gay he's become. I don't know. I don't know. Jack <laughs> Murphy, the legend. I, you know what? As a full blown, full like thirty five hundred dollar member, yeah, you I, see that there was clearly some benefits to 3890, you. Thirty eight ninety. Oh, first you, off, you it's on the credit 90? card statement. I can oh, print okay. it. The liminal order. I had lunch with him once. Uh huh. He touched my thigh. Oh my god. So I think that well, answers your questions. It. I'm gonna make people dizzy. There we go. Thirty eight ninety. I you told did you. Remember that? Yeah. You were right. <laughs> All I right. remembered it because I paid it. Uh, are there any more secrets Twice. in here? Twice. You're like, I'm a double I'm member. a double platinum. <laughs> You're double platinum. Like Taylor member. Swift when she released her first single. Uh-huh. Double Triple, platinum. Yeah, I went double platinum. All right. Well, I don't, I don't even, know. I, I honestly don't. Masculinity, brotherhood, and sovereignty. And gayness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what you earn. Oh, all right. I can't do this anymore. I paid the gay forward. Oh, my God. I'm out. I paid myself to be I'm gay. out. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, um, uh, like and subscribe. To Jack Murphy. <laughs> to Jack Murphy, not to us. We don't need it. Nope. We're we going to cuck you out to Jack Murphy. Oh, my God. We will watch him listen to our videos, and that would be us being cucked by him, right? Yep. Is that right? I think so. I think that works. I think that's how it works. So, we do have a full-length audio podcast you can check out. It's on Stitcher, Spotify, and iTunes. Catch us on Instagram. As something there, orc underscore you. Whatever, you can find us. Search our reviews will kill you. You'll yep. find us. Trust me, you will. And um, I don't know, what else do we do? Oh yeah, live streams, Fridays, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yep. And if you don't like and subscribe, I suspect Noob Noob will do this to you. I will take you to the next Liminal Order brunch where Jack <laughs> Murphy is very sexually aggressive in his knickers. Does he give... Um, massages he does but he doesn't uh have good cuticle um oh my gosh t care his hangnails he really does so when he goes up in the cornhole it's aggressive there's oh. a little blood sometimes you know his girlfriend's watching which i think her name is lana wachowski <laughs> and uh so i don't know how that works is there a twig and berries down there or not or is it just fat i'm I not quite positive just stop but either way no. yep just like and subscribe, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we will be on. We're on to the next one. What have you.